Here's some reasons why narcissistic people do not like to be blocked. They'll block you <clears throat> because it feels good. It's like I got her. Because they block you because they know that you're going to try to call. You're going to come over. You're going to pop up. And it's all good while you're doing that, while you're acting like that. But the moment you push them back on their heels and they got to act like that, they don't like when the tables turn. When the tables turned on me, I didn't like it. I couldn't handle it because narcissistic people are emotionally weak. And I'll tell you about that. <clears throat> Some of you don't believe it because you see a different person all the time. You see him strong and, and confident and cocky and arrogant and conceited. That was me. But what happens is when they don't, when you, when you block them, the reason why they don't like being blocked because now they just lost something. They lost you, right? They lost access to you. They lost the ability to talk to you. They lost the ability to abuse you. <clears throat> they lost the ability to talk to you any kind of way. They lost the ability to mislead you. They lost the ability to make you cry. So when you block them, you put them on the outside. And now they're on the outside looking in. Where for months and years, you kept them on the inside looking out. When a narcissistic person or narcissist is on the inside looking out, they're very comfortable because they can see everything. They can see everybody. They can see you. They know what you're doing, Right? Also, they don't like being blocked because they think that you now have a better person. The reason why they think that, that you have a better person is because their guilty conscience has been screwing with their mind because they thought they had a better person when they were cheating. And now they think that you have a better person because they think that you're doing what they were doing. So they don't like to be blocked when, when they, because they, it's a loss. They think you have a better person. They don't know what's going on. They're confused. It'll get answers because when they were with you and you were faithful to them, you were considerate. You told them all the information. You told them everything. You updated them. I never updated my exes. My ex-wife used to always tell me, you don't tell me anything. And I was like, no, but I expected her to tell me anything, everything. As a kid, they were told to shut up, sit over there, be quiet, get lost. You're not going to be anything. That as a kid, they were abused. So then as a child, they were, they felt like they, they didn't belong. They felt like people didn't want them around, right? So when you block them, it's like making them think about their childhood when they were pushed away. Um, they think about, when you block them, they think about their abuse, when they can't talk, when they can't express themselves. So the blocking is powerful when you have it. I'm not telling y'all just to use this as a, to, to abuse them, but that's what they think when they get blocked. Because when I got blocked, it drove me nuts. It's like I had access to her for months and years, and now all of a sudden, it's gone, right? When you block them, they become emotional. When narcissistic people become emotional, become erratic. When they come, become erratic, they think unrationally. When they think unrationally, they do stupid, crazy things. So be careful. But blocking drives them nuts.